Chordomas of the skull base are uh, unfortunately malignant tumors. They are a type of cancerous tumors, but most of them are low-grade malignancies. And what that means is that they are slowly growing tumors. They are very difficult to treat because their location at the base of the skull is an area called the clibus. The clibal bone separates, imagine your face, from the brain cavity behind. So these tumors are traditionally very difficult to treat. And what we've known is that the key to have a good outcome in these tumors is to achieve a complete tumor resection. We've developed over the years techniques to really become very good at achieving complete tumor resection to the point that to this date, we are able to achieve complete tumor resection in the, in the vast majority of our patients with minimal morbidity. And this is uh, thanks to the development of the endoscopic endonasal approach because of the location of these tumors, approaching them through the nasal cavity from the front using endoscopic techniques is of tremendous value because you can directly access the tumor, remove it completely, and spare all the surrounding structures without the need to do any open skull base approaches or manipulation of the, of the brain or neurovascular structures. Here at Stanford, we develop a tremendous expertise with chordomas. We routinely operate on these patients. There are only about 300 patients of this uh, diagnosed every year in the United States. And uh, therefore, having expertise is difficult. Uh, I myself have operated on many uh, of these patients, about 200 of these. And uh, it is key that these patients find the most expert place surgical team uh, to have this uh, tumor removed.